Hello and welcome to Reese Plays No Awesome Syndrome. I'm going to take you through a quick game with a tutorial because I absolutely love this game and I would like to share it with you. Another day, another case. Except this time, this time was different. Murders, not just an isolated incident. A whole string of them unraveling the city. The killer goes by the name Anubis. Anubis, the Egyptian god of death. Sacrificial killings, of course. I get stuck with a case, of course. Looks like I should get packing. Another day, another case. If you go to the left, all the way to the left, you find this asshole. So yeah, that's uh, one of the achievements of the game. Uh, they call them badges. It's uh, kind of fun, but you kind of have to. I did not know about it. I had to look it up. Okay, so you press the arrow buttons to move, and. You can use Z to investigate things. Find lock picks. I'll talk about what the dots in a minute, like when I actually stop playing. So every single time you use a lock pick, it breaks. So you've got to find them or buy them while you're in the game. And you can shoot people. I rarely shoot people. I find it to be more trouble than it's worth. So with a little dollar sign above the head, you can buy things from them. Yeah, that's basically all you need to know. Well, for easy mode anyway. So. Blue dots mean there's a police zone, and this is usually when you find um, well, cops. You need to talk to people to get suspects. You can't just find suspects. You gotta talk to people to know who you can suspect. Anything in here? Was this pointless? Ooh, male fingerprints! Now, this is handy because if you go up here, or you can press C, but I like to use the mouse for this stuff, you have all these clues and it's listed down. So we know without a doubt that the suspect is a man. So any woman suspect, we can just ignore them. Oh, that's the safe button. They keep making that mistake. Right, let's, let's get out of this joint. Okay, red dots mean there's a bob takeover, which, you know, can be useful, can be not. It's more useful when you're on hard mode, because if you're on hard mode, you, um, you're you being searched for by the police or the mob. So if you go to one of these locations, you'll probably get shot and killed. Okay, where to go next? Well, let's go here. I mean, usually... Uh, when I start playing, there's been a murder on the first couple of days, but not this time. Every single time you go somewhere and leave, a day has passed. Let's check out this. Okay, so we have a gun holster. What about you? Right, we have a suspect now. But it's a woman, so we know it can't possibly be her. This is a lot like Cluedo. I find same kind of principle. Go upstairs. You can check the trash. You can check the bed. I don't have a lockpick, so I can't go in there. 
because I broke it in the sewer, which is completely pointless. Yes, we have a crime scene, so if there's a brown dot, then that means it's I was literally just there. I, they must have killed them the second I left. Okay. Okay, so crime scenes are important because this is where you find evidence. Is there new evidence? Ooh, I've got monies. You find money when you wander around the place. You could steal money too, but uh, wouldn't recommend it. Ooh, got leather gloves. More money. Let's check our clues. So, the gun holster is owned by a police person or a mobster. And the leather gloves are owned by a chef or a driver. Now, if you go over to the next screen, you have your suspects. This shows their hobbies. So, we know Ruth Davis is a dancer. But if you go down here, this little target sign. You'll see there's three kinds of jobs. There's a civilian, a police person, and a mobster. Because she's in red, we know Ruth Davis is a mobster. We also know it's not her because she's a woman. If the name's not enough of a clue, there's a little sign. Okay. We've exhausted this place for clues. Let's see if we can find something else. Ooh. We also know it's not Ruth Davis because she's now dead. Public gatherings, the green dots, uh, you find a lot of people and you can get a lot of suspects there quite easily. Like suspect suggestions, because you can't finger someone for the crime if you don't know their name. Okay, so let's check this place out. We found a leather wallet. $15. Don't have any lockpicks though. So let's see what that leather was. So since the gun holster can only belong to a police person or a mobster and the leather wallet can only belong to a civilian or a police person, we know our culprit is actually a cop. Which narrows it down significantly. So it's a policeman. We, we know this. We just need to narrow down his hobby a little bit more and get some suspects. More monies, more monies. And the, the clue I probably need is locked behind that door, so that's great. That's just fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna head to the police station because that's a good place to get suspects. Okay. Is nobody going to suggest a man? Because that's what I need. Okay, a man. Now, we have a man, so we know this guy is definitely a possible suspect. So what's his hobby? He's a poet, so we know it's not him. That guy up there sells bullets. By the way, um, you saw eight days there. There's, there's a time limit of about 14 days. You gotta solve the crime in that amount of time. If you don't, the killer gets away. Oh, they don't just get away. I'm pretty sure they assassinate the mayor. The Hunt Club, you can get um, bounties. You can kill people for cash. And we found a lockpick. Okay, I'm feeling hungry, so I'm gonna head to a diner. That should be a good place to get food and suspects, because there's usually people hanging around the diner. Oh, a public gathering, we'll go here. Where there's people, there's 
Well, no, I don't think you could be the killer. It's definitely not you, I know that. And there's Charles Adams, so we'll check him out in a second. Now, you can get costume scrap bags and this is how you unlock new costumes. The default is a guy detective with a hat and this lady in a dress. The reason she keeps putting her arms up is because uh, the guy has a hat, so he's readjusting his... Was my new suspect just killed? Yes. Oh. So inconvenient. And I accidentally saved. Well, th this is how the continue button works, so that's that. Right. Is there new evidence or is behind the door? And more monies. And another lockpick. Can I get into this door? Yes. General Log 5. Watching the life drain from their eyes only fuels my bloodlust. Okay, so, so that's probably just gonna reaffirm the fact that this guy's a cop. It's not really getting us anywhere, that's kind of the problem. So I'm gonna head to the diner. Talk to you. Fishy things, uh, they you get evidence and there's people there to talk to. So I'm just going to check this, anything? Okay, we're going to head to the spe- uh, We're going to head to the speakeasy. We have another suspect? No, it's not her. More monies. More monies. You can buy drinks as well, but um, this guy's selling a cannoli. Found more money. The old, the old fort. Uh, Earl Hill. Oh, a man. This might be our guy. He's a drunk. That's his hobby. And he has leather gloves, so if he's a policeman, this is probably our guy. This is probably our guy. Now, this is how you do it. You pick a culprit. And next time you leave, you can... Uh, there's a black dot over where that person is. Also, you see this? You can rob that. I did it by accident the first time. And that lady there, this lady, ended up shooting me. So I wouldn't recommend it. Unless there's a crime scene here. Because there's nobody around and you can just take whatever you want. Also, these tables, you can gamble, but that's up to you. Okay, new day, new murder. This black dot. Purple dots mean fishing. I forgot if I said that. There's a crime scene, mob takeover, and this is where our culprit is. This is where Earl Hill is. He's the one with the exclamation point over his head. And you Click investigate and you arrest him. So, let's see what we've got. Did he do it? We have successfully closed the case. The law will take it from here. And so that's a game of Noir Syndrome on normal mode. And I like this game a lot and I play it occasionally. It cheers me up. So, I'd recommend it to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please subscribe and press that like button. Thank you very much and goodbye.